And welcome back, YouTube. This is my Amnesia playthrough, part 6. I'm Gord, and welcome back. Um, so... Oh, shit. Okay, let's try not to step in that shit. Um, so... I am still... My Sandy, as you can see, is just piss poor. It's just dot, dot, dot. Now, I've gone online, and I've looked up exactly what sanity is all about. And, um dot 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 is the lowest it can go and actually uh, at this level of sanity I can uh, if I see something like horribly gruesome or if I see an enemy or um, just if anything really happens that will lower my sanity even further um, I could go down and now oh, it won't die but I'll be uh, immobilized on the ground crawling as if as, as it were and um, that's not particularly good, especially if it happens because I saw an enemy or something. Because then I'm crawling on the ground and the enemy's right there and uh, I'm pretty much fucked. So I am in a tight spot with my sanity. Now my health, actually I'm just not realizing my health isn't doing so good either. So I'm going to use one of these uh, health potions here. And I'm going to, I'm hoping, I, I really doubt it, but I'm hoping that maybe that'll do something for my sanity too no but all right so I can see now that a health potion will bring that up one level because there's like three levels to each of these and I was at a wound was breeding bleeding pretty bad now I just have a few cuts and bruises again so uh, last time I left off I was looking at this little rope puzzle thing over here now uh, I'm not happy with the current state of my sanity um, I want to light something up in here so I have some some light while I do my thing. Is that a lantern? No. Uh, I don't want to be using up all my fuel because I'll be moving fairly slowly um, through this area. Uh, mainly just because I'm so fucked up from being low sanity. Um, also, I learned a couple other things. Um, those cockroaches and you may have heard in other videos, my teeth chattering. Uh, the cockroaches are actually hallucinations. Um, yeah, I wikied that. And uh, that's, that's a cause of my sanity being low. Also, the teeth chattering. I'm sure you've heard this guy, you know, breathing heavily. Uh, that's all part of sanity being low. Um, my sanity's not really getting any better. Apparently, it's a very, very rare occurrence for your sanity just to go up by itself when you're standing in the light. It can happen, I've, I've been told, but it's a very rare occurrence. So I'm gonna... I don't know really what I'm gonna do about my Sandy, because the only real ways of getting it back up are to make progress in the game. But if I'm making progress in the game and there's an enemy or something, or a spooky thing that's just part of the game, and my Sandy keeps dropping, like, I, I don't know how that's supposed to work. It, it just seems like a punishment, like, that's compounded with punishment. And that, that doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem very nice for the game creators to do. So let's um, I'm gonna move these barrels here and see what this door is. Before I fuck with this. Oh shit, you hear it? I hear some screaming. I don't know if I want to open this. I think I was already in here before. But, uh, I don't like having doors open because I'm, I'm quite frightened actually. I'm playing very early in the morning. It's almost six in the morning actually. Uh, my sleeping pattern is all messed up, and uh, so it's dark. My room is dark. Um, it's playing this um, in the dark, <laughs> and it's I'm thoroughly creeped out. So. It's, Something is clogging the crank and pulley contraption. Okay, I ran out of oil at the same time there, so let's um, put some of the oil back in there. Throw the lantern back up and take a look at this. This just seems like a little bar here, whatever this is. Oh hey, I made some progress. That little flash of light, that was my sanity going back up, which is cool. 
Although my personal IRL sanity is going down at a much rapid rate. It just all the fucking screaming and noises and Oh man. Everything is so fucking freaky. Does that not go up any friggin' higher? Nope. I guess do I like crouch? Yeah, probably crouch. Silly me. Oh shit, that hurt. Nothing behind me. Oh man, every door is just like... More and more worry what's gonna happen. He crashed through the surface, the dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Another past- another part of somebody's history taken out of context, I assume? This area looks fairly well lit. But I'm not a fan of hearing noises. area was fairly well lit, and now it's partially filled with water. What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Give me a... Run, you idiot. Run! Run! Holy shit. This thing's probably right behind me. Run! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Run, you fucking idiot. Don't corner yourself. Run. Oh my god, get me the fuck out of here. Shit. Keep out well thank you. Keep out of the water. Holy fuck me. How the fuck do I keep out of the water? Let's get the fuck out of here. Is that good enough? Oh, Jesus. I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> oh, shit. How much fuel do I have? I'm running low on fuel. I need to get a candle lit somewhere. This is over here. water. Oh my god. I don't want to play this anymore. I don't know what that's doing. I don't think light's gonna really help me much. Um, well, mind you, it's always good, but I don't think it's really gonna help me with this crazy guy. Oh shit. Oh, I'm shaking. This is just, this is horrible.
damn it. I love that whatever it is is just keeping right on me. Not giving me any friggin' fuck. Oh, Jesus. Give me something I can light up. didn't actually restart me from a checkpoint because I lost that health thing I was using. So you can hear that? That's him like grinding his teeth because he's freaking out. playing this game is just too much. Asshole people make a game where, like this, just this is just. Give me a candle, damn it! Can't just stand here in the freaking dark. Can't use up all my fucking fuel either. good at parkour. <laughs> I could jump crate to crate like a master. Legitimately scared. Oh no. Damn it, that's what that lever does. I wonder if I can outrun this thing. I'll try and jump my way back to the lever and then. At least they didn't go and make this easy for me, because I mean, that's all I needed. Okay, 
standby creepy music as I have to run through the water here a bit. So I think what I'm going to do, oh uh, god, please let this work. I, I really hope I can outrun him, because I'm going to try and hit the lever. Maybe I have enough time to... to just oh no. no! Let me up, let me up, let me up. And maybe I have enough time to hit the lever and make a run for it. What's my health doing? You've got some bruises. He's right there. How am I supposed to do that? Make your way back here, would you? Cool. Now I'm gonna run past you. No. Oh. oh shit. So no, I don't think I can outrun him. I need to use that potion up. Oh my god. Okay, so this lever, and then make my way all the way back around to that door. I'm gonna have to use this potion up, because I don't... I don't think I can make it otherwise. So let's throw this up. I can't see very well. I'm dying. That's awesome. Oh shit. I hope that lever's still going. Okay, I made it through the door before it closed. Oh, shit. That did me a whole fuck ton of good. Oh, Jesus. And I died, damn it. Dead flesh can act as a distraction. Thank you for letting me know this shit after I die. <laughs> you are, you have a great hint system, Amnesia. Uh, at least you at least you checkpointed me. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll take that back. I won't say anything bad about you there. It's like that movie, um, oh man, it had that, okay, if you've seen the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, if not, you'll just, you will have no clue. There's this black guy, I want to say, I don't know, he, he, I can't even think of, like, his name or anything right now, but he's been in a lot of movies, and, uh, he's like the chef on this, like, oil rig thing, and, and uh, the rig gets all flooded with water because there's these sharks, and he's like in the kitchen or something. The kitchen's flooded. There's like a shark in the water. It's one of those scenarios. Okay, can I? Okay. That was a little too far away. So was that. Can I go back to the dead flesh? Oh, there's dead flesh right here. Is that good? 
good enough. I really hope it is. Dead flesh. Sweet. It did work pretty well, actually. Another gate. And I'm out of oil. Uh, I can't see. I guess I didn't let him get like a good hold on it first or something. So yeah, I, I need to find a lever now for that other gate, apparently. I think now he's working on that flesh. Back over here. Grab this flesh. Let him get a nice, you know, work on that. Start to work on that. Back over here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm stuck, you two. There's gotta be something here. Like me. I'm gonna throw some dead flesh way across the opposite side of the room. Uh, once you get the hold of that, I'm gonna check this corner out here and see if maybe there's a switch on the thing over there. What's that? Here, buddy. Here, here, buddy. All right, there you go. There's a there's a meal for you. Eat it up. Yeah, I'm starting to warm up to this guy. I think I might uh. Get that there. Don't turn you stupid piece of shit. Fuck it. Oh my god, I can't. That was my last piece of flesh too. Throw a crate like right there that I can stand on or something. Another piece of dead flesh. That's, uh, I guess I'm gonna make a run for it. Open me up. Oh, thank God. Okay. See, that wasn't so bad. What we got in here? Anything? It's, uh. Jesus, what was that? Picked up a hollow needle? What am I supposed to use a hollow needle for? Strong surgical needle. Ooh, okay. That's fucking helpful. Oh, shit. Let me up, let me up, let me up. I'm trying to make out if there's anything over there on that bookshelf. I don't see anything from here. I wish I could, like, zoom in or something, but no, I don't see anything. Open. Can I just open this door? Oh, I can just click on it. It's locked with a simple lock. 
Oh wait, can I use like that needle on it to like maybe pick the lock? Hey, hey, look at that. That's that was that was too easy. <laughs> that was far too easy. Oh yeah, I still have it, so maybe I can do that more. Something large brushed against his leg, and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. Yeah. I'm still in water, but I don't see anything to jump up onto, so I'm guessing this dude's not around. Good enough. What? Mm, block the pass and run? What do you mean? What do you mean? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe he's coming from behind me, and I can like close the door and start with that. Close that door. Trying to get the fuck out of here. Open. Shit, run. <laughs> God, I hope this is the right way. Oh my god, I can hear him. I can hear him. Run, you fool, run. Oh, thank god. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The liquid hull of the SS Horsti Hortiness, Horst whatever, glittered in the soothing, warm, male light of the setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean reaching toward the coast of Portugal and thought, Is this another dream? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm kissing this right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, land. Sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet, beautiful, beautiful land. Oh, how's my sanity doing? Crystal clear. Apparently, uh, you know, I, for completing that, oh, <sighs> but you know what? Ah, uh, that was that was definitely cool. That was definitely interesting. Oh. Okay. I'll hold off on you for just a second. What's all this? That creepy, disturbing this. That is just, that's disturbing. Oh, sandy like that. But, uh, light and dryness. I like being dry. It's nice to get a little break after that kind of like just horrible, horrible, horribleness. Uh, some supplies. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold off on opening doors. Yeah, just gonna look around first. Um, guest room, study. So apparently this is kind of like the main hall. I have a few different choices I can go to. For all I know, they're all locked, but I don't, I don't want to sift through loading screens if they're not. So I'm gonna. Uh, Start with the door that's already open. Um, see what we got in there.
The music is nice and soothing too. I, I like that. It's not so dun 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 dun. No. <laughs> you have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Okay. Got an elevator here, apparently. Probably had a light candle next to another already lit candle, but yeah. Uh, can I use this right off the bat? I got a feeling. I don't want to test it, because if I use it, I could never be able to come back here. For all I know, though, it could be like, you need to find like some gears in order to get this elevator lift in order to work, or something's blocking the counterweight. Or, I, I don't fucking know, but I'm sure. Yeah, there's a machine room, so I guarantee you this is going to work. That's. Let's test my theory out. I get in here, and it's gonna be like, it's not working. Holy shit. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevators. Well, that's uh, it's a noble quest. <laughs> uh, I'm some creepy dude who's lost his creepy memory in a creepy castle, and now I've been reduced to a mere mechanic Jeez. Let's um. Oh. Let's um. Hmm. Let's this door. I'm gonna fill out all the doors that don't take me through a loading screen before I. This this will probably take me through a loading screen. Storage. Okay. All right, well, you know what? Um, I have another puzzle ahead of me. I'll probably have to go through many of these rooms to find whatever it is I need to get that elevator working. So in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at this creepy statue one more time, and uh, I'm going to end this video right here. It's getting fairly long, and uh, you know, thank you for watching. Every view counts. I, I, I love your views. If you view it, Please comment. I would love to see a comment. I'm not talking for just YouTube's sake. You know, I would love to see what anyone thinks of this. So, if you like something I'm doing, you know, say that. If you don't like something I'm doing, say that. You know, I'm pretty open to constructive criticism. Which I know the internet is all about constructive criticism. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, um, yeah. Next episode will be episode 7, and I will take a look at starting to get that elevator to work. But until then, uh, I'm Gord, and I'm going to take off. But uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, see you guys later.